Hello to all my friends on FoodTube. So this week I'm visiting with a great friend of mine, Barbara. She's an Italian and she lives in a beautiful village called Pestoia in Tuscany. So Barbara's been taking me on a foodie adventure around Pistoia and also in Florence, which isn't far from Pistoia. And the first place we tried was a new food hall called Mercato Centrale, which is situated above, it's just been built, it's brand new, uh, situated above a very old food market in the centre of Florence. And by far the most spectacular food that I tried on the day was smoked buffalo mozzarella. I spoke to the producer there, the buffalo mozzarella was absolutely delicious and the smoked bu buffalo mozzarella if you're ever in Florence please go to the market and try it because it was very very good. You know the word in English of affumicata. It's like the, you know, affumicata. What is what is it? What are we having? In English, we are having a mozzarella affumicata. Affumicata. Uh, affumicata. It's si. like uh, uh, burnt, a little bit burnt. Ah, smoked. Smoked. Ah. Smoked. Smoked. <laughs> È buonissima, taste, taste. Sì, 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 sì. Buona, buonissima. The smoked mozzarella. I think it's one of the best things that I've ever tasted. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Of course, no food hall in Italy would be complete without a pizza stand, and the pizzas that they were serving at Mercato Centrale looked absolutely delicious. So after lunch we ventured out to the Chianti region as Barbara was writing a new story about a vineyard there called Castello Rugero run by the De Flito family. Not only do they make top class wines but they also grow 400 varieties of tomatoes and they have the most beautiful garden that they took us on a tour of. Uh, such a lovely family, they have so many tomatoes, they have a glut of tomatoes that every, in September they have a little festival at the vineyard where they actually give all the tomatoes away to the local villagers. So we spent the afternoon there learning more about the vineyard, learning about the wine and of course eating the tomatoes which were absolutely delicious. African eggplants. Beautiful. Tomato and aubergine eggplant are the same family. Yeah, you can see very well. Che ora tutti allergici alle salamandre. Sì, eh sì. It's amazing. Incredible. It's, uh, 400 it's, pieces of uh, tomatoes. Look, look at this. 400. 400. Is that the outside? Well, it's not the outside. The day we make the passata for us is a special day. <laughs> is it the family tradition, the family recipe? Tradition. Yeah. yeah. My grandfather, I don't change nothing. Nothing. But every year is different. <laughs> the result is different. Every Basilica, year. 
basilico at the end, carrots, onion, small celery because Margot doesn't love celery, yeah. small celery, yeah. and that, uh, tomato, two parts, one very well cooked, and another part 50% just fresh, just uh, boiled for 5-10 minutes and after pass, we pass everything three times boiled and after we give it one. Delicious. This year is Thank the you. best I never made really? in my life. Yes. Really? Yes, for the Why? carrots. How come? The carrots was uh, all the blender carrots. and yeah. uh, the tomato also was uh, all the blender. So Why were they the best, do you think? Cause, uh, I don't know, last year I put too much carrots and the ah. carrots was not very good. That's the pen. Yeah. Uh, every, year, every year is different, different. the wine. Yeah. So a really wonderful day spent in Florence, Pistoia and the Chianti region. I love doing what I do, I get to meet some really great people and the best thing is I get to try some great wine and delicious food as well. So see you next time on Danny Vlogs. Ciao a tutti!